benzene or a benzene ring containing a triple bond can be an intermediate in a reaction pathway known as elimination addition. This mechanism explains the reaction of strong bases or nucleophiles with aryl halides that do not possess electron withdrawing substituents. In the video on nucleophilic aromatic substitution, or the SNAR reaction, we saw that a strong nucleophile can add to an aryl halide, in other words, an aromatic ring bearing a halogen. However, this requires that the ring also possesses other electron withdrawing groups to stabilize the intermediate Meisenheimer complex. When the aryl halide substrate does not possess any additional electron withdrawing groups, the reaction proceeds through a different mechanism. In this case, the elimination occurs first. A strong base, such as sodamide, can remove a proton adjacent to the halide leaving group. As the carbon-hydrogen sigma bond breaks, those electrons become a new pi bond and chloride is expelled. This results in the formation of the intermediate known as benzene because of the presence of the triple bond. Another molecule of sodamide then serves as a nucleophile, attacking benzene and displacing the pi electrons onto the adjacent atom. This yields a carbanion intermediate. And this portion of the mechanism is referred to as addition. Lastly, the carbanion deprotonates ammonia to yield the product. In this case, the product is aniline. Since elimination is followed by addition in this mechanism, it has the reverse ordering of the key mechanistic steps than we saw in SNAR, which is addition-elimination. Although two molecules of sodamide were consumed during this reaction, one molecule was also produced during the last step of the mechanism. Therefore, the net consumption is of a single equivalent of sodamide. And therefore, only one equivalent of sodamide is necessary. When the aryl halide bears a substituent, regiochemistry becomes a concern. In the following example, the initial elimination affords a benzene that spans the positions ortho and meta to the methoxy substituent. During the addition phase of the mechanism, sodium can add to either location, giving regioisomeric products. So on the first line of this diagram, we see sodamide adding to the position meta to the methoxy substituent, yielding ultimately a meta substituted product. In the second line of this diagram, we see sodamide adding to the position ortho to the methoxy substituent, ultimately resulting in an ortho substituted product. Variations on this theme are possible. Sodamide is not the only reagent capable of converting an aryl halide to benzene. Hydroxide can also be used in this capacity and ultimately transforms the aryl halide into a phenol. However, since hydroxide is a much weaker base and nucleophile than sodamide, the reaction requires much higher temperatures. The reaction with sodamide proceeds at minus 33 degrees Celsius, at which temperature ammonia is a liquid and can therefore serve as the solvent. On the other hand, 
The reaction with hydroxide can require temperatures in excess of 300 degrees Celsius. The mechanism is quite similar to that that we saw previously, but there is a subtle difference at the end. The reaction begins with hydroxide's removal of a proton adjacent to the leaving group. As a result, a new pi bond is formed as the halide is expelled and the benzene intermediate is produced. During the addition phase of the mechanism, hydroxide can then add to one of the benzene carbons displacing a pi bond onto the adjacent atom. And the resultant carbanion then deprotonates water in order to form phenol. Here is where we see a subtle difference in the mechanism. The phenol produced in this transformation is fairly acidic, so hydroxide inevitably deprotonates it. As a result, this reaction requires two equivalents of base, one for the elimination addition and one for the deprotonation of the phenol product. And this is in contrast to the reaction with sodamid, where only a single equivalent of base was needed. This proton transfer also means that prior to workup, it is the phenoxide, or phenylate, that is the product. During workup, that phenoxide can be protonated to afford phenol. In summary, elimination addition of an aryl halide proceeds through an intermediate known as benzene. Benzene is formed when an aryl halide that has no additional electron withdrawing groups is treated with a strong base or nucleophile. In such a case, the reaction does not proceed through an addition elimination pathway, or SNAR, because the Meisenheimer complex would be unstabilized. Addition of the strong nucleophile to benzene completes the mechanism and can have regiochemical ramifications. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.